Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome. I'm super glad to have you here. My name is Jessica and I make videos about luxury goods on the pre-loved market and finding great prices and all of that jazz as well as workwear videos. So today's video is going to be a little mini reveal, I guess. It's a bag I just got in today. I'm super excited. I did already unbox it, so it's not an unboxing. It's really just initial reactions, a quick kind of review. I, I can do an in-depth review after I've used it a while, but I've yet to use it, so it won't be a review in that sense, but really just quick reactions as well as what fits inside. So the bag in question is this one. So if you have been following my channel, you know that I had a couple bags on my wish list, my luxury wish list, and I have been very, very fortunate this year that I have gotten almost everything on that wish list. So I don't know how it happens. Sometimes that's just the way it goes with the pre-loved market. You get really lucky and you find a bunch of things right around the same time with great prices. This was actually the bag I first kind of fell in love with and fell in love with luxury. So this is the Prada Safiano Luxe Tote. I saw this in Capri, Italy when we were on our honeymoon and I fell in love with it. I didn't really know much about the pre-loved market at that time, so I didn't know if it was a good price or really I hadn't done any research, so I decided I wasn't gonna get it. I went home, I started researching, and I have almost bought this bag a few times, but it's always been just, even though it's been really good prices that I found online, it's been too high for my price point. But I finally found it in my 20%, which is kind of the way that I do everything, and I am thrilled. It's exactly the color I wanted. At that time, I also didn't really know the colors and what I needed and wanted in my wardrobe, but now I knew exactly what was missing, and it was really just this one. It's an off-white, kind of light grayish color which is what I wanted. I didn't want a bright white because I felt like I'd only use that in the summer, even though I will mostly use this in the summer, late spring, early fall, that time period. I do have the option to use it in the winter because it is a little bit of a more off-white, more grayish, um, almost even yellowish sort of tone. And so I don't really love taupe. That's a little too dark for me. I find that difficult to match with and I don't like it with black and I wear a ton of black. So it was hard to find a bag that was an off-white but not taupe and I am really happy with this one it's it just I just kind of took it across my wardrobe and it matched basically everything so I'm really excited I do like gold hardware as well so that is it this is the bag I got it in really good pre-loved condition it's not perfect I knew it wasn't perfect but check out the bottom of that bag it's in really good shape the structure is still mostly there though, and that's what I wanted, but it does have a couple scrapes, some of which look a little shinier and look a little worse because I just cleaned it, but that's that, and then it has a couple interior stains that probably look a little brighter on the camera. There's a couple marks, but again, it doesn't really bother me on the inside, and then the actual you know, lining inside is in really good shape, so I'm really pleased with that, and it kind of fits everything, and I also got... The authenticity cards with it so yeah I'm so excited so 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 excited so this has been I guess on my wish list for the longest period of time because it was that first bag that I really wanted and really fell in love with what I didn't really love um, the double zip was also more popular when I was looking for that one and I didn't want the double zip I didn't really want the sort of open compartment in the middle I did want it to be able to close it ideally it would be able to zip on top but at least it does close and in the less wintry months when I will use this majority of the time. I don't have to worry as much about snow. So that is ideal. And then of course it also does pop open on the side so you can get even bigger and wider that way. But I will show you what fits inside in a second. I just wanted to sort of share my initial thoughts and reactions, which is wonderful. It's that it's wonderful. I love the Safiano leather. Like I feel like I can scratch this and nothing. I don't have to worry about it. I use my bags. I don't baby them. I use my bags, especially I'm on buses and I'm in, in you know, a classroom setting with lots of people. And so I, th things happen to, to bags. And so I'm not expecting things to stay perfect. I, of course, take care of them as much as possible, but I don't want to not use them. So I feel like I will use this one and I hopefully won't abuse it too bad because the corners are in pretty good shape for the way that that usually, um, you know, wears. So it's in pretty good shape and I, oh, I don't know, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, it's gonna be great. But let me try not to make this so, so long and I will show you what fits inside. So I should mention before I show you what fits inside that this is the large or extra large size 
it is 14 and a half inches this way, 10 inches high, and six inches deep. So that is something to keep in mind with these measurements, but I haven't yet tried to see what fits inside, so you will be exploring at the same time as I will. And let's see, I'm gonna do it with these closed first. Know that obviously you can put more in if you open that, but I do always wanna be able to close this. So first thing I'm gonna try to fit is a standard folder. Oh, it fits so nicely, plenty of room to go. I do think that I will kind of always keep it behind here though, so that I can easily snap. So I'll put it under this little flap here and that does block this. So you do have room for another slip pocket here and a zip pocket here. I generally go for slip pockets in my bags that zip on top. So maybe I would wanna put a wallet in there, but for now, whoop, I am gonna try to do just these and kind of keep that part covered. So the next thing I have is a water bottle. Plenty of room. And of course, if I open this, you know, I'll have even more, but yeah, no problem closing or anything with that in there. The next thing I usually bring with me for work is this. It's a little Prada Safiano. It's called the Porta Pen, I think. It's a little case. So on this side, there are room for three pens and then this side is just open Oops, sorry this side is open and so I keep um, you know an extra chapstick and all that sort of stuff uh, anything else I would need headphones all of that is in here so let's fit that the next thing I always have with me are sunglasses so I can fit multiple pairs of sunglasses if I want that way or I can kind of stand these up because I just have plenty of room standing up. So maybe I'll do that. And then these are the SLGs I'm using right now, besides for the porta pen which is really just a work SLG. So the key case, which is the Ferragamo Double Ganchio key case, that fits so nicely in this pocket right here. It fits perfectly. And then the wallet, it's funny, I have more Prada than I kind of thought. So the wallet um, is like a bifold trifold kind of wallet and that fits here i am looking to replace my wallet so that is one thing on the list is slg in that regard um let's see this is that 3.8 inch width that most wallets kind of come in so it does just fit but it is a little difficult so maybe it would make more sense in the future to keep the wallet in this zipper pocket back here or maybe even yeah it's kind of hard to get it in and out maybe like that but that doesn't actually fit because this one is more shallow and this is a five inch wide wallet and this one doesn't i mean that's probably exactly five inches so it doesn't really fit in there but fits with so much room to go down in this this goes really quite deep in this pocket but for now i will put it where i would normally put it which is here and if i get a smaller wallet which I'm hoping to do yeah it's annoying to get in and out but it does fit so that's that and then sometimes oh, I don't know if I'll have enough room but I'll try sometimes I only bring one pair of sunglasses and I try to put in a pair of heels <laughs> if this is my work bag um, sometimes I like to these are the LK Bennett I still have the tag on them so they're the Sabira pumps um, sometimes I like to bring my shoes and you know walk in more comfortable shoes and then switch into heels or um, if it's like raining or snowing or something and I need to wear rain boots or snow boots maybe I would need to keep that open to fit that in and it's still ooh. well I think I could get it it's just kind of a funny angle for the for the magnet so it does fit everything and if I'm holding it just this way you don't really see but that does seem like kind of a lot so I probably would not unless I had to bring the heels um, I would normally not put those in here but this stuff my regular stuff fits so much room to spare if I wanted it to I, I try to keep them and I don't try to keep, widen them too much I try to keep them as slim as possible so that I could slip them under my um, shoulder so you can wear it this way or I can just slip it 
under so it's a little more comfortable if it is more slim so I also might do that so it's even more slim on the bottom but there's plenty of room for all of the essentials and I also quickly want to show you my laptop I don't usually bring it but we'll see if it fits and I also might grab an iPad so you can see how that fits but my laptop I don't know what the actual screen dimension is but it's 14 inches wide so it'll kind of just fit I think but I will show you what that looks like I also wanted to show you how the iPad would fit so this is a regular iPad obviously a mini would be even smaller but you can see there is plenty of room so much room around that and so if it had a case or anything that wouldn't be a problem you could even fit it this way if you weren't interested in closing the bag or you could even do that and put it under the clasp if you wanted to um so that is pretty good plenty of room for that and then a few of the other slgs this is a small card case so if i wanted to take these ones out and put the card case in the smaller one plenty of room and this is the double genchio zip around wallet which i actually am selling right now doesn't fit sideways obviously it doesn't work in there but let's see how it does in here i didn't even unzip that all the way plenty of room it fits really well there's like another inch to spare but if you had something a lot wider than this it'd probably be difficult to get it in and out this will come in and out very easily and there's lots of room um, to put other stuff back there if you wanted to. So that is the SLGs. And then the last thing that I want to show you is my laptop. So that's the 14 inch wide. I think it's like a 15 or 15 and a half or 16 inch screen or something. And so I may have to undo it. Okay. So I could, the clasp isn't really going to work around it because it's, even though it's thin, it's still too thick for that. I can. Let's see. Oh, doesn't really love this angle. Oh, I think I just unpopped the other side when I went to close this side. So yeah, I could mess with it and then get these sides closed, but it's not pleased about it. <laughs> it's a little, it's pulling a little bit as you can see here and here. So um, it does fit. I'm not ever planning on bringing my laptop. It does make it heavier, but it's really not a very heavy bag to begin with, which is great. So I probably wouldn't bring it, but obviously I could. And if you had a smaller laptop, like a MacBook or, I'm um, sorry, like an, a Mac Air or anything like that, it should fit really no problem. Anything that's like a 12, 13, 14 inch screen should fit. I guess even, right, we think this one's at least a 15 inch screen. So anything smaller than that should really fit without a problem. And if it's a little bit shorter, then you could clasp it, which would be great. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to go into detail. These are still really popular on the pre-loved market. They're no longer in stores, though the double zip is sometimes still found in stores. And it's a similar bag. Um, I just like that open compartment. I didn't really use the double zip when I had a little Kate Spade one. And so that was less ideal to me than just a big sort of open compartment. That's what I like. I would, of course, like for it to close, but this one closes a little better than the double zip, so I'm happy with it, and I am so excited, and I got it for such a great deal, and I'm just really thrilled, so please let me know if you have questions. They are still all over the pre-loved market. I will keep my eye out for some more if anyone's interested in a specific color or anything, but thank you for watching. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe to see more videos. Let me know um, if you want me to do a bag collection. I'm thinking about doing it in a couple weeks. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited. And I am now basically on a bag ban. I can't buy any more for a while because all of the big ones are pretty much done. I guess if I found some small ones at really good prices, maybe I would feel okay. But I have spent uh, my most three, three most expensive bags have been bought this calendar year. So I need to take a break and I need to just love these. And I actually am thinking about maybe even getting rid of one more. When I do show my bag collection, you all can help me decide which one that will be. But that is sort of the plan. So I do still have others for sale. I have sold a bunch recently, so I feel, you know, good about finding this. And of course, I've been looking for it for so long. But yeah, bag ban starting now. So thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you subscribe and see more of my videos. <laughs> Bye.